Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is a reading for the month of April. Sorry I'm a few days late, um, but let's begin. Thank you as always for donating to my channel. You guys have been so kind. And for subscribing, liking, and sharing. If you're not a subscriber, uh, tap the button, hit the bell, for it truly helps my channel grow. And also, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me and how to donate, that information is down below. I want to thank a friend of mine who donated the daily healing to me, and I'll be using this in this uh, reading. So I'm doing things a little bit different. I have split up all the um, suits along with the Major Arcana. I'm going to pick Major Arcana here, a couple here. Then I'm going to pick the Mental with the Swords, the Cups for your emotions and your feelings. We've got the Wands in regards to what action to take or what you need to drop. And then we've got the Material. I will clarify with a full deck. I will not read the above as a reversal unless I feel like I'm to read it. And then I will pull an Angel card and close you out with a Daily Healing. So let's begin and let's see what is going on for Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. And if the cards don't fall out, I'm just going to go ahead and split the deck. And these two immediately. Wow. <laughs> and the devil, you show up <laughs> to your own reading. I love when that happens. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's get started. So we have death, a tower, and the devil. So death is the transformation of the foundation that is falling apart. Aha, the epiphany, the things that are no longer working. So anything that you've been binded to, anything that has been negative, anything that you have been thinking, hanging on to. So the devil is, a, is the card of codependency is a card of negativity is a card of addictions alcoholism the things that ones get bondage to right but it doesn't always have to be such a negative because with every negative there is a positive because when we look at the things that hold us back or the things that are in the way of pursuing our dreams and so forth we bring light to the devil right we shine a light on it and let me tell you the devil does not like light so this is shining a light on the things that no longer um, you want to move forward with and we clearly see that because the tower comes in and says the house that you're living in the relationship that you're at the job that you're in the thoughts whatever it is it comes crumbling crumbling down why because there was attachment to it it was toxic and it needed to fall apart so the universe is working for you with the tower card it's not that things are happening to you although sometimes we may go into the thinking of why is this happening to me when actually it's it's happening for you so it can transform you because the death card is the card of transformation. It is leaving behind what has crumbled. It is leaving behind the negativity. It is leaving behind our attachments and the thoughts and the belief systems that came with an old foundation, whether this foundation is physical or whether this foundation is within yourself. So you're transforming things that no longer you want to carry forward. Absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful. You have such a beautiful trio here. You can be dealing with a Scorpio or another Capricorn. You don't have to be for me. These are all signs. Let's go towards the mental. And let's see where your thoughts are at this time. What are you thinking about the devil and the tower and the Scorpio? What has happened? So we do have the card of Page of Swords. And then we also have the card of Seven of Swords. Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. And the last card here would be the Ten, Three at the bottom. All right, Capricorn. Higher knowledge, learning, teachings. You can be picking up something or in understanding that maybe somebody that you gave an ending to because 10 is the ending ending of our thoughts ending of the betrayal the sadness it's a 10 of swords 10 of swords is everything that you can possibly go through from a page to a 10 right so this is whether it's through other people whether it's your own mindset one more time whether it's the things that you were attached to here cloaking yourself and going towards a new beginning tens were always the ending that which brings new from what from the pain the sorrow the mental agony that comes from what stealing from your own energy or any deceit shadiness whether this is you doing it to yourself or other people that have been doing that to you so this is recognizing what steals your energy. This is recognizing 
what and who has not been honest and if that is within you you are taking the reins again what do you need to learn how do you need to start over so this is communication with the divine it's learning something new learning a new way of thinking learning a new way of moving forward because no longer wanting to self-sabotage steal from yourself and put yourself through that dark nights of the soul again dark night of the soul with the ten is always a positive card because it is a 10. This is in learning what our attachments, what our belief systems, what the ego, so it's death of the ego, right? It's death of the no longer, I'm not gonna allow this to happen again because I have learned dot, 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 whatever that is for you. Within the emotional body, let's see what the cup card, what is coming out within the emotional body for this card wants to come out and I'll take these cards absolutely beautiful coming out of any illusions and fantasy with the seven the seven is saying pick something go towards it don't look at things the way that you think they are look at them as they are so you can shift it right so this is saying it's it's good to fantasize about the things that we want but it's putting that that has already happened here with the ace of cups so come out of any illusions about the past don't stay stuck in it really ask yourself what you have learned what what needed to fall away so you can transform to this beautiful new self again that death of the ego the freedom in moving forward leaving away the sorrow the pain and things of that nature right the three of cups comes in and says it's time for you to be around celebration, um, more lightheartedness, playfulness, being around other people, people that lift and elevate you from your emotional body, people that you know that you can be around and laugh with, enjoy with coming out of this energy, right? And then we have the card of Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So for some of you, you can be getting together with people, you can be meeting somebody through a friend, or not, it doesn't have to be. This can be self-healing, self-love, and offering after coming out of all of that. But the Page of Cups, very dreamy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got Pisces twice, but you know it's a water, so it can represent any sign. We do also have Scorpio. Page of Cups comes and says, it's time for you to emotionally fulfill yourself from the inside out right to where your cup is overflowing it's also the 11 11 card and this is saying coming into now into a new way of loving into a new love so if some of you have left the old uh, paradigm the old relationships whether that's a relationship with you or with somebody else and if you're looking to celebrate and to come into union with other people or with another person then this is an offering that can be coming your way very dreamy page is a beginning so it's a beginning of nurturing yourself where somebody else also comes in who brings this beautiful love towards you it's a gift so it's an opportunity aces are always an opportunity to love to open yourself to love but now loving wholefully loving as somebody who's already whole with another who's already whole here starting with somebody who's emotionally available not somebody who's deceitful or who doesn't want to put both feet in whoever that may be whether that's you or somebody else next we're going to go towards absolutely beautiful i love the ace of cups from the page to the ace that is absolutely beautiful reading right here so let's see within the wands energy what's coming out here for you and okay so some of you are having communication after a time of standing up for yourself self-reliance don't give up there's a lot that is coming for you it's saying, you know, don't sit there and look at it coming. There's messages that are coming here. This is flow and movement. This is gaining momentum towards the things that you desire. What happens here with the wands is that as we release the old, as we take away the toxicity, whether it's other people, whether it's our own mind, whether it's all of those things, what we do is that you then put yourself in a place of great momentum and things that are moving forward towards the things that you desire. It's the eight. Eight is always about that movement. Things are just going with the flow. It's asking you to go with the flow. And don't sit, when we wait for something to happen, for that love to come in, for that job to come in, then you're bringing that um, waiting. You'll, you'll always be waiting. But when you realize that spirit is um, sitting here and really bringing things towards you, those ships are coming in. They are coming in. You just have to believe it. Believe it and do what you need to do in order 
for this to happen is for you to just be in the flow. And this could also be communication from somebody from a distance. Um, so you can be having some communication. The Three of Wands is, I love the Three of Wands because it's the magician, it's the second, you've created a new world and now you're recognizing what it is that you want to bring in. When it comes to the material, with the material around, with the pentacles, all right, let's see here. We have the page. So again, new beginning, harmony, balance, mastering a skill. So this is really mastering the skill within yourself, bringing harmony and balance. Again, who is giving, who's receiving. So if before you were giving, it's now time for you to receive. It's time to harmonize your life. And maybe some things have been taking a long time. Maybe you've been working on a project or writing a book or working on your own business and it's just been taking a while. But the thing with pentacles from the page uh, to the eight is that it is steady. This is something that stays. This is something that fruits. This is something that grows. So it's asking you to continue doing whatever it is that you've been working on because whatever it is, you're just mastering. You're mastering yourself, bringing your place to a place of abundance and receiving from the universe. Now we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Look at this. We have the star card on the tower, on the devil, and on the death. As you release the negativity, as you release the old, what happens is that all that release is now bringing you towards what wishes fulfilled, divine timing, healing. The star card is also asking you, like I said before here, don't hang on so tightly. You know, it's okay for you to just know that all that you desire, it's on its way to you. You don't want to hang on because hanging on says that you don't believe that it's coming to you. Believe it, see it, act as if you already have it. And it's all about divine timing. And you are so very close here with the nine of swords coming with the rest of the swords. So some of you were having nightmares, sleepless nights, thoughts, um, things that were keeping you up, not feeling good, your health, whatever that this is, it is saying this is the end of that because we do have the 10 of swords. So if you're in a place of anxiety or fear or not knowing what's going to happen, just recognize it for what it is. Don't allow it to keep you up. Really what you want to look at is what fears, what attachments are still there? Where are you thinking in that same way to where it keeps you in a place of prison of your own mind and you want to release that energy? The next card out is the Hierophant. There is a commitment. So if some of you are have lost a relationship or some of you are looking for a relationship or some of you have been hurt by a relationship, whatever that this is, the Hierophant is a card of commitment. It's of raising our vibration. So as you raise your vibration into higher learning, making a commitment to fill your cup from the inside out, what you do is you become this beautiful vibrational match. Look, he's laughing. Joy is essential to raising your vibration. So the Hierophant, number five is change, comes and says that there's a beautiful commitment with somebody who's emotionally available. Are you available? So this is coming towards you again. So if there was betrayal between three people or anything of that nature, it is saying put yourself around people that are loving and of higher vibration because there is a great offering that is coming to you. The Hierophant is a card of um, the traditional way, but this guy does not look like he's doing anything in a traditional way. And actually, I don't know what that even means. You know, there's dot, dot, dot. So this is in actually following your own true north and really um, bringing in more spirituality, making a commitment to raising your vibration and allowing your cup to overflow as you do. This commitment comes in like that, right? The next card out we have for the three of wands. Okay, so we, I needed two more cards. Is the king of wands. How beautiful is that? The king of wands is inner strength. This is taking bold vision, action, the card of Leo. Doesn't have to be that we got the lion here. So this is telling you that, you know what, Re recognize your own passion. Recognize that the king, the king puts things into action, is very fired up and is a visionary, uses creative ability. So, you know, what can you create right now that brings that inner strength from inside, taming that lion within you and lighting your fire in the way forward? There's a lot of movement here. Again, whatever it is that you're waiting for, it is saying that, yes, 
you are the king of your own jungle. You're here to really manifest the things that you desire, but it is putting that fire, it is putting that passion within whatever it is and being in the momentum of it. Next, we have the world. The world that says it's time to complete out old cycles, raise your vibration, and to step into something new. Again, it is saying whatever it is, maybe some of you with the six of wands, are meant to do things that are very worldly. So whether this is, again, in communication, a speaker, a writer, an entrepreneur, whatever that this is, it is saying that whatever you do, there's great service that you give to others, which hence comes back to you. Very beautiful message. So keep working on those things because you're meant to what? You're meant to shine. You're meant to be seen and you're meant to be victorious on this game called life and it's saying to recognize that first you must see that within yourself and you must complete the things that are no longer a part of who you are becoming and who you are right now and be very much open to receive into a new world that is being created for you let's grab you an angel message okay the ocean and play. I love that. So spending a lot of time in water and play. Yes, playful energy, being childlike and really raises your vibration, right? And so does water. Water is such a cleanse. Water is healing. So if you can spend time in ocean, if you don't have an ocean where you are, go by the lake. If there's no lake, go by the river. If there's no river, take a shower or take a bath. Spending time in water really purifies the energies and it really um, opens you back up so you can allow yourself to really receive the things that are coming over you and it washes away any of the pain, any of the mental. I like to take a bath uh, in sea salt and I put immerse myself in sea salt under and when I go to unplug, it's as if all that negative energy is going down the drain and playful, yeah, so it says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Absolutely, play is very essential for you to raise your vibration so you can attract the kind of love and life that you are hoping for, wishing for, and desiring because you deserve it. We do have here, I had another card that fell out, but I'll just wait. make, um, I'm sorry, this is the front of the card, and then here it says, make um, gentleness a habit. Yeah, as we play, it's being a child, so with a child, you're very gentle. Be gentle with yourself as you're going through this transition of the tower, the death, and the mental, and all of these things, because there is great love here. This is self-love, this is nurturing, this is accepting, receiving, and opening yourself to a new commitment, to a new way, whether this is with somebody you're reconciling with, or whether this is somebody new that has already come, or somebody that is coming, which is gonna be very harmonious and balanced, which is going to absolutely shape your world into a whole nother dimension. Until next time, sending you much love, much light. Namaste.